Hi everyone. Today I'm going to talk about variables in Frame Maker. What are variables and why do we use them? Uh, first off, let me show you what we would be doing if we didn't have variables. Let's say I want to add headers to my pages. So to go to master pages, view master pages. Now I'm going to add the name of my document here. The document, let's say test document version one. Let's assume that I don't know yet what the call this document. And so going back to body pages, it'll be in the header. All right. Right, test document version one. And imagine I have a hundred pages of this. Let, let me just copy this and add another page, third page. So it will be on top of every page header. And then somebody said, well, we need to change this to version one. Okay. And in addition to header, I also have references within the body of the text, like you are reading uh, test docu document version one, right? Or you know, in any other reference that uses the doc document name, test document version one. Now, if this thing changes, I have to make a global uh, search and find. I have to say change version 1 to version 2, right? I can do this, change and find. And then I need to go to the master pages and change manually. Uh, the uh, header but there's a much easier way to do the same thing let me turn to body pages by through variables a variable is like a bucket that holds uh, anything a value uh, that can change and that's why we call it a variable right not very imaginative but that's what a variable is it's something that varies changes so we go to escape sv to see our list of variables and here you see the system variables that are already built in and i want to create my own user defined variable so click this create new user variable and here is the name of the variable let me call it document title. And now, what is the definition? What will it be? Let me call it URS introduction to video history version one. This is the this is the uh, value, the content of the variable. So I add it. Now, as you can see, there's a blue dot next to it. And this is the name of the variable. This is its content. Now, instead of you are reading this, if I ins insert this variable, it is selected. And here I insert it. OK, here you go. This is the value of the variable. Uh, there was another mention. I also replaced this with the uh, same variable. And I go to header, master pages. I just insert the same variable. And let me uh, format this. Let me go to paragraph designer and this is header style 
change the font to something more solid then I go to body pages okay now imagine uh, a time arrives when someone says we are changing the title of the document to video history volume vo volume one to so escape SV I just make the change here in just one variable how do I do it clicking edit video history volume one click edit and here it, it, it has changed in the header and it has changed anywhere inside the body text where there's a reference to the same variable and uh, also pay attention to the fact that the formatting is not the same so the content of a variable does not determine the, f the format in which it will display finally on the page it all depends on the paragraph style and the way you formatted that paragraph style so you can see here the uh, styling of the body text is different from styling of the header text therefore even though they update nicely and the content is the same format can be very different so if you have a hundred or thousand page document and you want to replace the content of a field uh, in one fell swoop variables is the way to go so uh, I hope uh, I was able to convey the, the reason why we are using variables in frame makers and documentation see you in the next video take good care